welcome to j a china Bow. hello 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 from me hello viewers hello fans hello friends hello all of the above thank you thank you for popping here today thank you for watching this video and uh i really appreciate you popping by thank you so much and god bless you as usual i am joy ago and um if this is your first time of of uh watching me or watching my video or stopping by on this channel or this platform feel free to 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 subscribe on this channel so you will be able to see all my video that i upload every week and you can do that by uh, clicking on the red uh, red button and also you can also put a notification bell to help you stay on to on every video i upload so you'll be getting all the blessing here Mm -hmm. it's a honor to have you thank you so much and um today i want to deliberate on interesting topic really interesting one indeed is about money matter wet or health matter and family matter yes 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 hallelujah so today i want to address ways to avoid financial stress or or maintain your 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 heart yes the reason why i bring this topic because i'll be deliberating on wealth and also i want to help someone here yeah just in case you are be too much over going with them with the changes of uh of the of the of the system of you know uh, uh problem that is going on with the financial uh, with the with the with the high cost of things all over the world right now so i believe i can help somebody here with my message so just to make it more easier for you all right so i'm deliberating on that night uh nine nine ways for you to avoid financial stress and maintain your heart all right health is very important you know so i just want to help someone here it's a very free message i brought here for you so and i hope you take a pen or you 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 grab it because you never know it might it might help you you know so that's why i come here to be a help to somebody so my nine tip is uh nine ways to avoid financial stress or ma and maintain your your heart your heart matters a lot yeah and likewise you want the finance but you have to also consider your health so my first tip for you is to identify your financial your finance and uh, your, uh, your your finance and your challenge identify your finance and your challenge very important it, uh, you can know exactly what the your your finance level for example how your uh, the state of your finance let me put it that way the state of your finance what state is it and what are your challenges within the finance right now so identify that if once you identify that you now move to number two, second tip which is create monthly budget create your monthly budget yeah example could be understanding your econ capacity and your your then when you understand your equal capacity you can know how to sew your codes according to your size in other words you can know how you're going to spend the uh, what the way you you what you need to spend an example you can know how to manage your your expensive expenses and bees such as food gas payment uh electricity uh water be example yeah and uh, it, uh road tax car insurance your mortgage or your laws once you are able to when you create monthly budget you know how you're gonna you know manage this these are very important they are very important so you will not be under stress of anything because you are not created to be on stress yeah there, there is a type different type of stress we there is what we call i called um uh positive stress and uh, negative stress positive stress is about you know that you have to go for a walk or you have to study that's positive but the negative stress is when you become under pressure because of money or whatever these are not something right so this is why i come here to bless somebody i'm here to bless you with this message and i hope you have make a impact or i hope you grab it if you think it will is it something you need i will really I will be it will be my joy that it helps somebody so that's why i come here to give you this free message 
all right so i repeat i say your second this uh okay let me just rephrase it uh, is a nine ways for you to, nine ways to avoid financial stress and maintain your health so the first one say identify your your finance and uh, your and your and your challenge within the finance right the second tip was create monthly budget yeah i stated that that we could be understand your 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 eco capacity and therefore so your coat according to your size you know uh, manage your expenses expenses like a bee as uh, uh, bees and uh, your uh, example you can set up mortgage your you, uh, you set up your mortgage your mortgage your bees your tasks uh, your rotas food you have to eat mm -hmm. you have to eat so you cannot avoid not to eat so you have to uh, also have those manage you have to manage them you have to eat food you need that so you set it up so they will help you a lot so you manage all this you have to eat food you have to make ensure you have a gas so these are money so you have to manage put this into management you have to manage the manage your expenses like i said your bees such as the food for petrol because you drive you have to drive yeah if you drive you have to go to work you have to maybe do a school run if you have a yoga one or you have to go to uni or university or school so if you're a person who drive you need you know you need to know that your petrol your car cannot drive itself without the petrol so this is something you must put into place you must manage you must pay a tax depend on the country where you where you, that you are if you are in, maybe in africa maybe that might not apply but if you're in uh, europe that will apply it is a must it's a law it's illegal so you have to pay your road tax your car insurance etc etc so you have to also have a arrange a monthly bees plans like monthly bills plan or like uh, and uh, also service so you know so this is the way you can create your monthly budget have a monthly bills plans and service write a note down put a note down take a note how you're gonna uh are you gonna so you put a note down stick it on where you can it can be uh, you can have a, a, a you can able to cite it every day just it can be on top of the fridge it can be on the not notice board just put that down you know if that can help you to stay on your monthly budget plan so the number stored is recognize your need and want mm -hmm. <laughs> you know want and need is not the same there is a distinction between a want and a need so recognize your need what is your need what is your want so, for example, you have to prioritize what your need are. Your need is something that is really important. So, you prioritize that and trim your want. Your want is not, maybe you want to, you want a, uh, you want to buy a shoe to go for a party. That's for me, I can categorize that as a want, not a need. So, you go for what your need are. That's the point here. Go for your need and trim your want. So that's my top tip for you. Recognize your need and trim your want. And number four is have a plan B. Mm, I love the words plan B. I love the terms plan B. Have a plan B method of, of uh, avoiding financial uh, stress. Have a plan B. Plan B for me mean have like a service have create you can create a monthly save uh, service account where you can be putting as much as you as you have as as little even though it's just a five pound you know or five dollar or five euro just have and put always have uh, put something as little as as little as 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 you can just to help you cover any time anything that is emergency for example it can break down yeah if a car break down you need a <laughs> you need a, a money to quickly cover that so that is a different from the the monthly budget in it so have a a, a a a plan b that cover all the emergencies uh, or uh, expenses that you may need your car may break down so that will be you need the urgent uh, 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 money to, to quickly solve that so plan b will be a, a good method to use this i believe you can use to avoid any financial stress and maintain your health because your health matters mm. 
yeah and number fifth for you is be strategic be strategic example avoid any uh any further anything that will uh, make you spending too much than you have or spending more than your income mm. be strategic yeah so that's my first uh, fifth point for you when you're strategic you avoid on un unnecessary spending let me put it that way you before you go to shop and buy something you you will you, you already know what you uh, you already have a plan what you're going to buy what you must know what you must not buy so therefore for example maybe you are just going in the shopping center or in the shop you know around the shop get it there maybe you didn't plan to really get something so you go to remind yourself that you have a strategy that you must not go to buy something that you did not plan for let me put it that way you didn't plan for it therefore you don't need to buy so these are the way i believe you can maintain your health and avoid financial stress okay so that's my uh, fifth point for you my sixth point for you is follow up your progress mm -hmm. follow up your progress yes follow up your progress because you have a you have uh, your system of managing your of avoiding your financial stress and maintaining your head so you have to follow it up reviewing it is it helping is it something that you need to 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 is there anything that you think you it might need a, uh, an adjustment yeah do you think or uh, maybe this, uh you think you need that adjustment or you the way you set it up is not really really happy you enough yeah maybe you want to trim something or you change maybe there's a change to uh, circumstance of your finance so you want to make a amendment let me put it that way so when you follow up you can be able to be on track and know what need what is not working what is working so what do you do you wait you balance it yeah so i believe you you can follow up if you can apply it, follow up progress follow up yeah it can be do a check and rev, a check and balance or review what has worked what has not worked has this method work or what do i need to adjust yeah maybe example you you used to pay uh, 60 pounds you think it's too much for you so maybe you want to reduce it adjustment yeah you weigh it so i think that would be something that you will need yeah so number seven point for you is being in control always oh yes and be, be in control always and um and avoid every on every avoid pressure mm -hmm avoid pressure you are not designed to be on pressure okay yeah so avoid pressure just be in control always be in control whatever you do just be in control remember you are the you are the boss here you are the manager you are the director of this so be in control not the money again not the money in control so you be in control because that's the way you can do it so that was my several point. That's my several point for you. Be in control and avoid any pressure, any money pressure, any pressure from any parties, from any or schedule stuff. Just avoid it. All right. So my number eight for you is be grateful. Mm -hmm. Be grateful. Again, what do I mean by that? How does that apply to this money talk? Be grateful because sometimes you have more than you think you have. You you, you uh, yeah you have more than what you know. Yeah. You may be little you have but you can still know how to how to how to how to live with it when you're grateful then you know that there are some people who you may have more than and yet they are still living be grateful this is the way i believe you can avoid financial stress and maintain your heart your heart is your word yeah heart is your word so your head matter, you matter. Remember, no you, no no where, no money. Mm -hmm. So you come fast before any, any anything come money. So you matter a lot. So therefore, you have to you have to be grateful for what you have and live with what you have. And remember that there are people who don't have like what you may have, may have, or some people even want to have what you have got. So live with what you have be have a gratitude be grateful 
by so doing, you enjoy your, your health, enjoy your good health, or maintain a good heart. Remember, you matter than your money. Without you, we, we, we know you, and no, there is not going to be money there for you. Without, I mean, let me put in a different phrase. No you, no money. So you come first before the money. That's what I mean by that. That's why I say be grateful. And live with what you have. Number nine for you, my number nine for you is don't, don't overwork yourself. Oh my word. There is a lot going with that now. Over, don't, you don't need to work several days shift. <laughs> All right, let me put in a different way. So you will be saying, Joy, what do you mean? How do I need to pay my mortgage, my loans, etc., etc.? Yes, you need to pay them. I'm not against that. I'm only telling you, remember, you confess before all this, your expenses or your mortgage, all the loans, the debt, etc., etc. You confess. So therefore, don't overwork yourself. Money will bring itself, but you have is is you that will bring the money, isn't it? So therefore, you have to you have to keep you you have to make sure that you are in a good health. You have to maintain your well being, so you can have the ability or the capability or the other energy to fetch the money. So don't overwork yourself you don't need to do several days shift several days uh, monday to sunday in order to to be in order to be to have the money so you can't fast so you must have time because you're a human being yes you when you find that's where you can get the money that's the point here yes that's the point here that's the point here you come first it is you first before the money all right so i'm just helping you out giving you a, a way, what you can do so you can enjoy the money so my point for you is don't overwork yourself you don't need to to do night and day shift to able to manage or have, uh, manage uh, your finance or to able to to meet all your expenses or your need i understand that you need the money I understand there is a beast to pay. I understand there is a mortgage. Maybe your mortgage. I do understand that. But I'm also telling you, without you, you confess before the mortgage. Mortgage will clear itself. You are the one that will clear the mortgage. So therefore, you have to, to ensure that you are fine. You are aware. You have the power to do that. So if you overwork yourself, how would the mortgage... Come when may God forbid, maybe you're not getting to, uh, to he had as a result of overworking, over labor. You say you're not a robot, you're human. Hmm? Yes, so I'm um, just saying, don't overwork yourself. That's for you to that's the way you can maintain your heart. Don't overwork yourself. You're, you have life that you must look after. You must have time for your life, for yourself. You must have time for yourself. You know the phone, when the phone is overused, what happened? The battery switch off. You know why the battery switch off? Now when the battery switch off, you know what happened? When you charge it, what happened? It recharges energy back. So you as a human being, you must have time to, 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 to rest. Or to have a rest where you, where you know is you, your body needs it. So you will be like that battery, that runoff from the phone. So don't overwork yourself. That's the way you can, or that's the way you can avoid financial stress and maintain your well-being or your health. Your health matters a lot. It is when you are fine, that's when you can, you can get the money. Don't forget when you are in good health, that's when you can fetch the money. You can fetch the money in hospital bed. God forbid. You can. Yeah. Stress, dangerous stress is not good. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need any stress that will make you just collapse on the road or on the workplace. You don't need that. You need you. You, you confess. You matter more than the money. 
That's the point Joy is talking about here. You come first before the money. The money will fetch itself. You are the one to fetch it. So therefore you need to be in the right state to able to fetch the money. When you overwork yourself, over doing several days shift, night and day, no sleepy. Oh my God. I don't know how you, you do that. I'm trying to tell you, you confess before the money. Therefore, do not overwork yourself. You don't need to do several days shift a week before you know you can you can be in, uh, in uh, uh, track of your finance. No, you don't need that. I'm not telling you not to work. I'm not telling you to be lazy or a, or a lay back. I'm not telling you to be a sleeper. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you, you come before the money. So how do you do it? You have to be strategic. You have to take care of yourself. You don't know whereby you are walking, you fall down, you, you, you faint. God forbid. So therefore, you have to take good care of the life that God gives you. Your money can't buy the life for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a fact and it's a truth. Go and search it. The money, your bank, uh, thousand, billions, account, or whatever it may be, can't give you the life. So, therefore, you must take care of yourself. In as much as you need to pay all the money, do all the, you need that money. You have to take care of yourself. Don't overwork. That's the point. You must have time to be recharged. Like the phone, like the mobile phone recharge. You overuse the mobile phone and the battery just switch up because the phone is telling you I need more I need to be more alive. So when you pull the charge, when you charge it, it just the energy come back. That's how it is for human being. You got to have time for yourself so you can enjoy this precious life. God gave you free. A life that you don't pay for. Free, freely giving, free child, free, free, free. I mean, you don't pay for it. So therefore, you have to to ensure that you don't overwork. Remember, you got one life. So look after your life. Look after your 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 gift of life. It's a gift from God. Don't overwork yourself. Have time to relax. So your brain, everything is all in, in a good state. So you can, you can get more power to, you know, to do all that you need to do. Take good care of yourself. Enable you to get more power. Or to be more strategic. To be more focused. To be more, 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 more effective in whatever you do. It gives you a good heart. So, again, I'm going to break, summarize that for you gradually. I said it's all, the, you know, it's all about money matter. Wet or, or hurt matter, family matter, yeah. So now, I said my topic, uh, my main topic here is now ways to avoid financial stress. You got to avoid financial stress. Financial uh, now ways to avoid financial stress and maintain your health. I said one is to identify your finance and the challenge within your finance. And I said number second tip for you is to create your a monthly budget. Number third for you is to recognize your, your need and want. So you've got to prioritize it. You've got to trim what they want and prioritize the, the need. And uh, number four for you is have a, 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 a plan B. Oh, oh my God, plan B is necessity. I love that one. I love it so much. I use the words plan B a lot in my home. Plan B, that means when the plan A did not work, so what's the next? You still have a plan B. Plan B is a good method. Um, I use it. When there is no plan B, so what is the next plan you're going for? So maybe you schedule plan A, and uh, the plan A maybe didn't work the way you wanted, so what is the next? At least you still have flexibility. Okay, you move to the plan B. So what about there's no plan B? That's a poor strategic. So you must always balance. Okay, this is what I want. This is my, my, my goal or objective, whatever you want. So whatever, if it was not flow the way you expected, then there's a plan B that you can still use as a backup. That's the point I'm saying here. 
yeah so have a plan b and that could be for emergency it's a quick uh, service it doesn't have to be big anything you can just put as little as you can it can be just a pound or, or a, a dollar one one a dollar or whichever in case of urgencies where you need something to get quickly like i said before car break down so when they, now plan a didn't work maybe there's no anything left over and now plan uh, and your car is break down the highway you know what you did you need that plan b that's why you know the importance of plan of having a good plan of having what is called plan b wow <laughs> so plan b is a good method to use very good very good yeah plan b is something that i know is served very well yeah it's very it's served very well <laughs> because we <laughs> maybe your car break down at 2 a.m you are traveling from wherever from france to whichever, whichever country or to another land god forbid i'm not wishing you that but i'm just saying the plan b is really can play a lot help for you yeah so that was my fourth point for you the fifth uh, the fifth point is be strategic strategic mm -hmm. you know I hope you grab this okay this is a free for you I'm giving you free free of you know payment just free of charge so I hope it, it help you so uh, be strategic is my is my number fifth point for you strategic yeah don't know what you uh, don't spend unnecessary don't go to shop uh, don't go don't go and be spending money shopping when you don't really need it that's the point again when you don't really need it you don't need it if you don't need it don't go for it it's not your plan so be strategic i avoid all this temptation money temptation or well or going for a want this can be a want when you're not strategic you're going for a want <laughs> You're going for a want, it's out of a need. So need is something that you need to focus on, not to want. Want is just not really necessity. So be strategic, that's my fifth point for you. So number six is follow up your progress. Mm -hmm. When you follow up, you monitor how this your uh, plan is going. Is it any reasonable adjustment needed? What is working? It's like a, doing a check. It's, it can be check and balance it. Or review is this working uh, you wait what has worked what is not, what has not worked do I need a change of this or circumstance change or it's not uh, maybe you 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 normally have to pay 40 and then you can't meet up with that 40 or now you are more capable to just settle it once or pay once so what is the next strategy so should I just pay it all in cash or you want so you fall know what is what you need to do so when you follow up you can be in track you can able to be the boss control and say okay all right this plan did not work so i need a change or i need to do adjustment so that's my sixth point for you follow up your progress so my seventh point for you is being in control always and avoid no no uh, be in control always and live with what you have live with what you have yes i said that be in control of your finance of your health and live with what you have you got one life remember one life you got in so be in control always be in control of your finance of your heart you god give you the heart and he expects you to be in, in control he will help you but you still have obligation to play example god will come and brush your teeth for you <laughs> God will come up, push your leg in the shoe. God will come up, come up, help you. Into, I mean, he will help you, but he will want you to take an action because he's not a lazy God. He will want you to be this. He will want us to be the same. Or he will want us to be lazy. So there are things that as a human being you will need to do that is called your human obligation. Yeah. So you be in control. And live with what you have. All right. So my that's my number seven point for you. My number eight for you is be grateful. Have gratitude. Be grateful. Be grateful and I mean, be grateful for what you have. Appreciate what you have. 
all right so that by doing so you are in a, you are keeping yourself in a right state of of health yeah so my number that was not my number eight so my last point which is the number nine is don't overwork yourself this is really important I'm, i and and i hope you, you you take a note of that of this don't overwork yourself because you need all that energy you need to be recharged like the phone you need to get to have more energy to do all this you're running running to go to work to do that to be focused you, you need your brain to be focused so you don't overwork yourself overwork yourself is very bad it's not good i'm not telling you not to work like i said before work but work smart what do i mean by work smart don't overwork work smart when you work smart, you're able to follow the strategy. You know that you need to be recharged. We, other, in other words, you, need, you know that you need a time for a rest. Because you are not a machine. Because you are not a robot. You are human. And blood runs in you. You are not a water that's flowing. So you must have time for yourself. It will enable you to have more energy. To meet all your expectations and your goals or your goals i hope this message will bless you and i hope you grab it because it's a free bonus for you yeah and uh and i hope you give it a thumbs up if it's a message that you you believe it's for you or that you know you can bless somebody else just give it a thumbs up and remember share it to bless somebody i've come to bless you so, and I hope you do the same for others by sharing it around. And uh, leave a comment. Let me see what tip that you find, in, uh, find helpful. And uh, I will put all the, I will write that down on the description um, uh, button so you, can, uh, so, uh, so you can see all of them as well. So, you, you know, in case of you want to take a note of them, I'll put that down. You, you can check on the description uh, side of it, of the, of the video on my YouTube and remember if you have not subscribed to this channel oh do yourself that favor subscribe so you'll be grabbing all these bonuses that i all these free bonuses message i brought i bring to you thank you so much and god bless you and it's a pleasure to have you god bless and shalom shalom from j a shana bojo god bless cheese